Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Cold Steel 3. We are, well, we are on the night train, doing our rounds just before bed, and there are a few people we need to talk to. Mm, shall we do Randy now, or continue the train first? Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna find uh, Yuna along the way as well. And I'm relatively certain she's gonna have some choice words for Reen not mentioning it to her earlier. For her having to find out that way. And of course, no. us having to go to Crossbell. So yeah. So, uh, yeah, let us talk to Randy first. Hey Reen, wanna grab some coffee? Honestly, I prefer a nightcap, but I can't exactly be breaking out the booze with all the students around. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, but late night coffee and an early morning is probably a bad combo. Maybe we can go get another drink together sometime though. <laughs> Good point about the coffee. You know, honestly, if the Major can get Randy the permission to go on the third day, I would love to drink at the casino uh, with him 100%. I'd love to go drinking again though, man. There are a ton of places here I wanna take you to. There's still one casino bar I've been uh, to before, not to mention all the others. Filled to the brim with an eye full of, uh, shall we say, classy ladies? Told you, casino, definitely the place to go in Crossbell. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Maybe we'll have uh, some time on the last day we're here. I don't know about those classy lady uh, filled bars though. Ah, oh, come on! You're not a man till you have had a good time at a place like that. Well, guess my partner was still a kid in the same sense, though. Huh, he did uh, seem like the serious type. I'm guessing with a baby face like his, <laughs> the women would be all over him. Yeah, you're exactly right. The thing is, he doesn't even make use of those looks of his. It's such a waste. Hold up. Women all over him? You're one to talk. With a face like yours and that sharp black hair, <laughs> you're playing on easy mode. And on top of that, you're celeb status. I bet girls are falling for you left and right. Well, not really. People don't notice me much uh, when I'm wearing glasses. I'll have to take an even more care not to stand out while wearing crossbow. I'm sure the people here don't exactly have the best opinion of me. Hmm? Why not? As far as I know, most people here don't really have any hard feelings for the Ashen Chevalier. Really? Yeah, you were a student and you showed up after the annexation, right? Pretty much the only thing you did here was uh, put a stop to Calvert's invasions. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure not everyone's gonna roll out the red carpet for you, but I'd say maybe every 6 out of 10 people here like you? I'm not just saying this to make you feel better, you know? It's already been over a year since all that. I'm sure things have calmed down by now. I'm sure you won't start chucking rocks at you in the street or anything, so don't worry about that. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting them to do that exactly. But seeing how Juna has been towards me, I was prepared for a pretty icy reception. Ah, Juni. Well, her situation is a little different from the average Cosbellum. I'd appreciate it if you could keep an eye on, on her during your field exercises. I'm sure she got a lot on her mind. Yeah, of course. Hmm, I actually feel a little encouraged now. Hmm, <laughs> might not seem like it sometime, but I've got three or four years worth of wisdom on you. So what do you say? Let's get through this and look forward to having some drinks on the last day. You got it. Oh, I really, really hope that comes to pass. Having drinks with uh, Randy in the casino? I'd sign for that. Well, if there's any time on the last day? Nah, even if I had time. Meeting up with Morel would probably be a bad idea. Morel? Is that your... No, 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 it's not like that. We wish it was, Randy, we wish it was. Because <laughs> she's a perfect fit for you. I mean, sure, she's a woman and sure, we're close, but I prefer less... Uh, Difficult girls. <laughs> I see, I see. Hmm, something seems fishy here, but I probably shouldn't pry anymore. Nope, I think that would be a wise thing. <laughs> uh, 
and let's keep one of these uh, exclamation marks for what it is. So, by the time we wake up tomorrow, we'll be in Crossbell, huh? I know we're not going there to have fun, but I've been... never been, so I'm kinda excited to see it. I agree. Though I wish we were uh, going under different circumstances. Yeah, it's not like we'll be able to leave camp and see sights or anything. I mean, it would have been nice if they were still independent. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't probably have said that. Valerie... Well... I can understand the feeling though, because if you were from a place that was annexed by the Imperials, of course you would be like, I wish they were still independent, because you wish your town would be as well. I can't fault her for that. Hmm, maybe I'm not the best person to judge, but the Empire is a pretty messed up place. Hmm, I shouldn't have said that, that was out of line. Uh, my apologies. Yeah, Reno is the best thing you can do with just saying nothing. It's not going to change anything. Let's keep the girls for a uh, last. Y y you, you want to hard read book? That's right, the harder the better. If there's any you could lend me, I'd appreciate it. Uh, okay then. How about this one? It's called The Uneven Distribution of the Universe. It's my favorite philosophical piece and it's packed with a lot of unique ideas. I hope it's what you're looking for. She might be looking for a different kind of hard book, if you know what I mean. Uh, sound like we'll do the job. I've been having trouble sleeping lately, so I'm hoping this will help. That's what she wanted it for? See, even Reen uh, thought the same thing. There was another uh, boy's love uh, comment. The uneven distribution of the universe. <laughs> Looks like a tough read. Hmm, I should be able to sleep well tonight. Well, to be honest, if Tatiana would have given her a BL comic, I'm pretty sure she would have slept well tonight as well. <laughs> I guess there's more than uh, one way to read in the world. Uh, I think she was thinking about it, wasn't she? Juna. I, I was just uh, thinking about Crossbell State. Uh, I guess it's the Crossbell Province now. I know there are many factors that go into it, but to think that the same thing could have happened to the Kingdom of Liberal... Yeah, what Erebonia is doing is nothing short of invasion. Especially to the people of North Embria and Crossbell. I, I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have brought it up in Tartarine. It's just, well... Crossbell was my best friend's hometown. I understand. Mm, so, how about that Link phenomenon you experienced during the Divine Night battle the other day? Oh yeah, something similar happened during the Civil War too. Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, I'm currently looking into how the Arcus 2 helped to facilitate that. I plan to reach out to the Epstein Foundation and RF Group, since they took part in developing it. I see. That sounds great. If we find out what happened. It might help in the future. Let me know if I can, if I can help you out with anything. <laughs> Will do. If I find any info about that link phenomenon, I'll let you know right away, Instructorine. Hopefully, you won't have to wait too long. Uh, we can yes! definitely hope for. Yeah, I'm a little bit short on cash, but that is uh, on me, definitely. I'm pretty sure there are things we can sell. I'm just hoping that uh, somewhere early in our field exercises there's going to be a place where I can grind uh, the missing cash back. Because like I said, we need Thanks. to get some back at least. I'll help. Uh, still no new weapons? Thanks. It's taking a long time for us to uh, gain new weapons, is it? Hmm. Oh well, I'm sure they'll show up at some point. This one may be inactive right now, but Penzer's soldats are always an overwhelming presence. I'm really thankful for being allowed to interact with one, even though I'm a student. This Hector Mark II is powerful, but it's harder uh, to control. Ash is able to control it with ease. But in terms of mobility, the dragon is much better. Huh, I won't lose. Ah, so cool. 
If only I could pirate the pens and sell that too. Yeah, then you would truly be a man. <laughs> Crossbell. It's been a year and a half since we were lost here. Yeah, time flies, huh? Back then, you didn't talk nearly as well as you do now. <laughs> True. And you've softened up considerably since that time. Yeah, I guess I was going through a lot back then. But anyway, do you sense anything here? Not at the moment. Many fates intertwine in this land. To be perfectly honest, anything could happen here. Do you think that in the Sutherland province the thing he felt was the Jaeger King's Defined Knight that was there? That that was the disturbance? Hmm. Could be. I have a bunch of theories around that topic, but I will save that for a point in time where I think is relevant for what we're seeing. If I go on a tangent right now, it will be another 10 minutes wasted and it doesn't fit where we are in the story. So be prepared. It is coming at some point. <laughs> All right, I'll be ready for anything then. All right, let's uh, let's do uh, the talk to the ladies. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to go. Uh, Yuna, you're here. You seem to be in high spirits. <laughs> of course I am. I never thought I'd be coming back home so soon. Oh, and we can go around the city this time too, right? Uh, yes, just like last time. We'll have uh, special operation missions. I'll give you the details at the briefing tomorrow morning. Hmm, understood. I'm so excited. I hope the kids are doing well. Kids? Oh, you have younger siblings. Where does your family live? Hmm. Oh, do you want to come to my house? Well, as your instructor, I figured I should meet your family. But more importantly, I thought you'd like to see them. You can go off on your own for a little while, so just let me know. I'll accommodate you. <sighs> Why is this guy so nice? Anyway, let's talk about this after we know what we're doing for our special operations mission. And uh, allow me to be the guide for our activities. Of course. <laughs> Thanks, Juna. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure there are a lot of uh, residual feelings about the whole annexation of Crossbell. But thankfully, she's seeing this as an opportunity that she can see her family and friends again. That's a good way to go about it. So hopefully she'll manage to keep focus on that. I got this. Crossbell's my home turf after all. I know the ins and outs and it's like the back of my hand. These special op missions will be a cinch. Yeah, because we'll be helping people that she knows. So. Of course, they'd be willing to put in some extra effort. Hmm. It's been one year and two months since the two of us were last in Crossbell. It was during the mission that took off, took us to, to the underground sector. Yeah, you're right. As far as I could tell from reading the Imperial Chronicle, there weren't any problems as a result of that. Hmm. The Intelligent Division considered the region to be especially stable for an annexed uh, territory. Apparently, the Governor General leadership is highly regarded there. Rufus Alberea. Eldest son of the Alberea family, overseers of the Cruzen, uh, Kruzen uh, province and one of the four great houses. Before I joined the Intelligent Division, I was the one who issued my orders. I remember, yeah. And as the leader of the Iron Bloods, he took down the noble lines with from within. I wonder what Jesus thinks of his brother, knowing what we do now. Oh, Altina, is something wrong? Hmm, I've been wondering. Is something wrong with Juna? Hmm? I'm not no. I don't know how sure how to explain it exactly, uh, but something about her seems off ever since our field study location was announced. Actually, never mind. You don't need to worry about that right now. But if you go and talk to her, I'm sure it will help. In situations like this, support from friends can make a world of difference. Yeah, and like I said, 
She cannot be 100% okay with this whole crossbow mission thing, but if she just focuses on the positives of it, like seeing her family and friends, it's a good start. I'm not sure I completely understand, but I'll keep that in mind. Araponia came and took Juna's hometown. I can't even imagine what she's been feeling all this time. We'll continue to keep an eye on her. <laughs> Don't keep an eye on her, Altina. Be your friend. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Is this my uh, room? Ah, Kurt, of course. I need to talk to him too. <sighs> Is something bothering you, Kurt? Oh, instructor. Well, to be honest, everything about this trip is bothering me. We've been fighting with Kelford for hundreds of years over ownership of Crossbell. It's finally a part of the Empire now, but tensions are still high there, right? Yeah, that's correct. But it might be more accurate to say that tensions are high there because it's part of the Empire now. I see. Well, I suppose that makes sense. I'm also concerned about why exactly His Highness uh, came to tell us about the field exercise in the first place. You've known him for a while, haven't you, Kurt? Yeah. As I'm sure you know, we vendors were stationed as guardians of the Imperial family. I've talked with him many times since we were children. I was certain that one day I'd have the honor of being appointed as his guardian. Your older brother Mueller Vander looked after Prince Oliver, right? Right. Even as a child, I envied their relationship. Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with my brother's physique. So I think there's a good chance his highness could end up growing even bigger than me. I wouldn't be worried if I were you, you're just fine, considering you're still growing. I only know a little about the Vander style, but it's clear to me you've got the perfect frame for dual swords. You understand that, right? Yes, I'm sorry, I shouldn't complain about something that can't be changed. It's just... I can't believe how much His Highness have grown. No, I just need to train more. Don't worry, I'll be focused on our exercises tomorrow. Now that I think of it, this must be much more pressure for Juna than it is for me, given that this is her home. You're right. Good. He re realized on his own. Well then, I'll be relying on you tomorrow, Kurt. Understood. Thank you. Ooh, a card battle. Why not? Compared to Juna's feelings, mine are pretty petty. Trivial grievances. <sighs> I really need to get my mind off uh, things. So to that end, would you like to play a round of Vintage Masters again, me instructor? <laughs> well, it's not that I mind, but I didn't take you for a fan of the game like these, uh, Kurt. Well, to be quite honest, Sydney sort of half forced it on me. But I've actually grown to enjoy it. The strategies involved are quite different from those used in chess. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay then, let's play a round. You can now play Ventus Masters against Kurt. Alright, let's see if our tactics still work, but there's gonna be a point that I really need to readjust my cards. I'm just not ready for it yet. <laughs> At any rate, worrying myself sick isn't going to do me any good. It will serve us far better for me to focus my thoughts on tomorrow's field exercise instead. Very well, I accept your challenge. Let's go! Let's begin the match. Ooh, a knight with 30. Thank you for this match. Ooh, that might actually be a really good card to have. There's a lot of damage we need to uh, take down. Mm, change one. It's a good fire start, that's for sure. Mm, okay. One plus one. Okay, because I'm what I'm thinking is that we do need to make sure that uh, we do, we uh, outlive his damage. Your cards in play gain attack plus one, so everything. <laughs> this is definitely a card that I want for myself instead of a fighter. Definitely more uh, HP and the ability to up your attack of all your uh, characters on the field. 
yeah, very, very nice. Uh, so, how about this? I'm just doing this so that uh, the knight doesn't annihilate him on the first try. <laughs> Unless he goes on the crystal and then attack Habitus, but uh, we cannot plan for everything. And I might try to save the blaze for uh, the Blix. He's raising his own attack. I didn't even think about that. Uh, all right. Having his shield. Do we want to blaze uh, to enhance it? Because it is three attack power, which is really nice. Because he has 28, so the faster we can take that down, the better it is. Okay, he will survive that, and he will bring down by seven. Good. Minus two. Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's uh, protect ourselves for a little bit. <laughs> we almost got the knight on the starting level. <laughs> That's where we are where we are right now. Okay. He has to play something on the floor now. Okay, he's going for the shield. Alright. I don't know why I tried that. Because elemental-wise, that was not smart. But as we've seen this before in previous card battles as well, that the AI doesn't realize the elemental uh, effectiveness. So if it goes against it, it doesn't do anything. It just keeps on pushing through, even though they will kill themselves. Hmm. Weird, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, all right. To get that off there. <laughs> yeah, we will lose Hepatus, but I think it's worth the damage we'll do on the night. And then we have uh, Dream uh, to take the heat before he has to uh, hit our fighter. Well, we at least a hat now. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Nothing? Alright, we got a Blix. Good. What does this do? Restu restores 2 HP to the target. This card can act twice. Hmm. Just to have it extra on the board. Uh, we'll survive. Both of us will survive this. We can attack from the background. I think we need to attack it, because if we get through the next round, he will have to be able to take it off the table before anything else happens. And that's by now, that is six, seven, nine damage, will take us down to seven. Hmm. Just to take it off the floor. 
Ryder would be able to take this one out, but Blix is not working just yet. And I hope the next round we get a uh, plus three, so we can uh, go for the end of the night. Well, this is a pretty decent mashup. Domdala. Oh, I hate those shields. Well done. I agree. Hmm. Can't easily attack. <laughs> Deal one damage against an entire row of enemies. It will take care of wrench hill straight away. No damage whatsoever. This is to remove the shield. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Let's take two. Won't take it down. Yeah, I have to risk it. It all depends on what kind of cards he's gonna lay down on the floor right now. Zimmelpen. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting he has that. Mm, that's gonna be painful. Uh, alright. Season enemy's action for one turn. Yeah, we're removing things from the board. But it's also just not doing anything. <laughs> we're just uh, bi abiding time, isn't it? Mm. And now we have 7 damage. Let me be a 5 left. Why does he use a skill almost every round? This, that does make it extremely powerful. Uh, where are my status up cards, really? Get that off the thing. <laughs> Seven damage. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that's not gonna be a thing. Uh, remove the steel from the target. Yeah, it does not work out well. Alright, still doing good. Yeah, we have plenty on the, on the cards. He cannot remove it just yet. Unless you get another one on the board that does an entire row of damage. Really, he's going for the heal? Mm hmm. Well, we can remove. We can remove him from the board. We should remove him from the board. Goes an extra card. We'll do nothing because of the elemental. Hmm.
All right, if we do this, we might. Oh, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? <laughs> ah, I've lost. Good fight. Good night. Curse bond increased to two. Thank you. At any rate, worrying myself sick isn't going to do me any good. It'll serve us far better for me to focus my thoughts on tomorrow's field exercise instead. Yes, but it was a very good card game. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Alright, return to our room and rest. This is a message from Dareflinger Car 1 for all Branch Campus students. We will arrive at the destination for our field exercises at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please don't stay up too late. Make sure you get plenty of rest. <laughs> Those announcements are always so sweet like that. I suppose I ought to head back to my room before it gets too late. Yeah, definitely. Alright, let's get back. Oh, but that fight was really, really good. Uh, the thing is... I do think we should change our fighter to a knight. I think that would be a good choice. Because having that extra defense and the ability to raise our attack power, that would really work in my favor, definitely. It's not a bad game, it definitely isn't. I've still got a little time left before lights out. I can keep making my rounds or I could go back to my room and rest now. Well, we talked to everyone, we played cards, we did our events. I think we're ready to rest, so let's go for it. Field exercises day one, Saturday the 20th. Good morning. Ah. It's strange. I kind of drifted into Crossbell three years ago. Raised as a Jaeger, I was always going from place to place. Never thought I'd get all that attached anywhere in particular, but... Randy. It's been over a year for me. I need to prepare myself to come face to face with Crossbell. <laughs> and is Randy gonna do, uh, see Kiddo uh, on the third day as well? Are we? Ah, get a look at that. It sure is a big city. Well, you can fit all of Jirai inside the Crossbow City a few times over. Oh, why are you all so loud? Just let me sleep a little longer. Wow, what's that super tall building? <laughs> I think it's called Orcus Tower, right, Juna? Yep, it's a 250 arch tall. It's the tallest tower in the world. I'll be okay. I just need to get my head on straight. You'll be fine, Juna. Really, lean on your classmates. I think that is new, a train uh, rails that go all the way to Michelin. Good. Crossbell station entrance. Uh, it looks exactly the same as when we left. Just a little bit more 3D. <laughs> Jeez, took them long enough. <laughs> I can only wonder how things will play out now that they're here. 
Maybe I'll go pay them a visit without telling Emma. Oh, definitely do, Celine. Definitely do. <clears throat> because we absolutely need to find that woman. <laughs> Even if it means splitting up. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Mm hmm? That's strange. I thought I saw something over there. Just kidding. Huh? <laughs> Looks like all the actors are arriving at their marks. Campanella. But it's still not enough. I need to make my grand declaration only once everyone has gathered. I knew shit was gonna go down once we're here, but Campanella? Damn, that's uh putting in the big guns really early. After that, the Durflinger stopped at Crossbow Station for about 10 minutes. Once the supplies were loaded, it departed along the southern line. Five forty AM. <laughs> and there it comes. Near Crossbell, Brent's Campus Field Exercise Grounds. Well, you know the deal. S set everything up for the next couple of days. 6.30 a.m. Yep. Put the guards out, go on patrol, make sure all the supplies are ready. Yeah, you all got this. I'm surprised we were able to set up a camp in a spot like this. Uh, well, this line connects to the medical uh, university to resort area in the south, right? Correct. The Oslo branch line constructed a year ago, it's already seeing use. This is a reserve line managed by the RMP. A medical university. I wasn't aware there was such a thing here. Well, I never been to the resort area either. Well, they're both pretty cross belt Pacific areas. I guess both places got more popular after the railway line was put in. Oh yeah. It definitely got them a lot more convenient. Though, even before, there were always orbital buses and boats sipping around. By the way, about Class 7 Special Ops missions this time around. They'll be the same procedure as in Sutherland, right? Ahem, that is correct. You will be scouting the area and performing requests on behalf of the locals. As before, you will also report to the leader of the local area regarding the start of our field exercises. Rufus? Alright, well, forget about that. But then... The leader of the local area? If we report to Lord High Arms when we're in Sutherland... That, that means... Yes, the Governor General who oversees the province of Crossbell. Lord Rufus Elberea awaits you in his office in Orcus Tower. Yeah, and that is uh, someone I really love to uh, meet again. <laughs> so we're going to meet with Governor General Rufus. I've never met him before, but the thought makes me nervous. Yeah, I can understand that. But we're already acquainted, so talking with him shouldn't be too difficult. For real? He's supposed to be really handsome and smart. Sure isn't my type, though. Yeah, she likes them ugly and extremely dumb. <laughs> My impression of him is that he's extremely intelligent. However, I was only used for a short period of time, so I don't know his personality in detail. You were used? Was this outside of your duties at the intelligence division? 
Ellie, are you really okay? Of course, why do you ask? I was only ordered to perform various undercover assignments and arrest Duke Cayenne. Hmm. Should uh, you really be talking about that? Well, it was back during the Civil War. Let's just put that aside for now. Once uh, you're done getting ready, we'll head out. We're supposed to go down Ursula Road, right? Yeah, it's a highway that runs along the lake. Judging from the map, we're not too far from the city. Alright guys, let's get going. Okay, lead the way. Hmm? Is she? Yeah, she's uh, overly compensating, that's uh, definitely for sure. <laughs> Reen got a message on his Arcus too. From whom? Ah, thank you message from Claire, I suppose. Major Claire, thank you. I want to thank you for sending me that scrunchie. I have never received such a personal uh, gift from a man before. And luckily, you're a man with an impeccable sense of style. How about I wear it next time we hang out? It took some courage to send it, but it looked like it was worth it. Yeah, Rain, you might get a date out of it. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it for now. At least until we find something for the other three. Alright, shall we make a, a little bit of a start on talking to everyone at the camp? I don't think we'll manage to finish everything before the end of the episode, but we can uh, get our claws into it a little bit. Crossbell. A land fated to be caught between superpowers since time immemorial. In fact, they're in a tougher position than Jirai was. In any case, maybe this would be a good place to... Oh, hey Class 7. Oh, hey Stark. What was that you were saying about Crossbell? Oh, that. Well, I'm just fascinated by it as a financial hub. Being the son of a merchant and all. I'm thinking about getting permission to go and check out the town later today. Ah, oh, is that so? Well, if our schedules happen to match up, maybe I could show you around a bit. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry about me. If I get lost, I'll just ask the town folk. There are plenty of people in Crossbell. You should be able to get by on your own. Well, if you do, do end up going there, just make sure to be careful. Yes, sir. I'm planning to leave the field exercise camp for a while in the afternoon. So if you need anything, it'd be great help if you could let me know now. Just tell me what you need. Ah, uh, new issue? Mm, definitely. There's a medic cape. I don't know why, but every time I see that, it does uh, come out something. I need to check. <laughs> How are we on healing items? Okay, okay, enough. Take care. Would love to have more, but it will suffice. Ah, field exercise are back, troops. Chances are we are in for more surprises too. Now I'm getting excited. Though I'll pass on anything dangerous like last time. Have a look -see. Definitely. Ooh, the new weapons are in. And we need to grind because we do not even have the slightest amount of cash to buy it. <laughs> well, I'm sure that once we get uh, outside you in will. the next episode or the one after that, there will be some to be exterminated monsters along the way which we can use to get the money to buy stuff. I just had to get those fishing gear because I had to try to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, same thing with it. I think we have enough uh, U material uh, to upgrade everything at least for now. See ya. Yeah, we'll be back. Don't you worry about that. Everyone's efficiency has improved in comparison to the first set of field exercises. It is still nothing compared to Imperial Army, but I expect good results from everyone here, nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sure everyone will move at the pace that suits them. Hmm, our class can't be lagging behind. Yes, at the very least, we need to learn from our previous mistakes. By the way, Instructor Michael, is Instructor Claire coming to Crossbow this time around? Major Riefeld? Hmm, let's see. She will be here, but for business, so she won't have uh, free time. You'll have to give up on seeing her this time. I see. Every efficiency has improved in comparison to the first field exercise. Hmm, the grass camp is not too shabby. <laughs> Good. Alright, 
I think uh, that's good enough for today. Let's uh, keep our eyes on the front of the train and uh, we'll continue from here last time because I've already seen the optional quest in the train itself, which we of course will pick up and add to our list of requests. So for now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still there, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time. Okay. As we continue to talk to everyone at the field base camp. And then we're gonna head on out to Orgus Tower while trying to get in the sights along the way as well. Fighting a few enemies on the outside, see how far we can get. And just reminiscence on how everything looks now that it's in 3D. So see you then. Bye-bye.